my friends welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW personal point happy Friday it is Friday it is the weekend it is one of the best days of the week and I am here today to talk with you about my week set some goals for next week we'll go over the WW workshop topic and of course I'll share this week's weigh-in so if you're excited give this video a big huge thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to use me for accountability and support and talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, we'd love to have you join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's Let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Oh my gosh, I have so many updates for you guys. This week was quite the week. Last week was quite the week, but this week was also quite the week. Thank goodness I am over COVID. I have tested negative. I am feeling back to normal. My energy level is back as well, which is something that was still lacking last week. It took the majority of this week for the energy to fully come back. And I had such a busy week between YouTube, real estate school. I am very busy with nutrition coaching. So I'm really grateful that my energy has slowly started to return this week. As I mentioned last week, I didn't do any intentional exercise last week or this week just to give my body time to catch up and recover from COVID. But I have some really exciting news to share with you. And that is that I have officially hired a fitness coach. I have hired somebody to coach me through my fitness journey. I mentioned last week and I've mentioned several times over the course of my weight loss journey that not only was my intention to lose the excess weight and just become a healthier person overall, but once I get a lot of the fat off of my body, my goal is to build muscle, lean muscle. I want to have some guns. I want to be toned up. I want the 100 pounds plus that I've lost over the course of the last couple of years to not leave me feeling flabby and uncomfortable. I want to try to tone up my body as much as I possibly can. Now we know that loose skin cannot be toned up. We can't spot fat reduce. We can't say, I'm going to lose all the fat in my belly first. Fat comes off where fat wants to come off, but we can do our best to tone up our body with strength training. I had a call with my fitness coach this week and we mapped out a game plan, not only for nutrition, but mainly for working out and incorporating some strength training. So my goal this next week, when it comes to exercise is to start implementing my new routine. My goal is to go to the gym four to five days a week, do very, very light cardio, 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill or the stair stepper or the exercise bike, whatever piece of cardio equipment I choose to use and really focus on my strength training routine. L building lean muscle, getting used to lifting free weights, using machines correctly, having correct form so I don't get hurt and so that what I'm doing in the gym is actually going to be effective for me. So I'm very excited to have a fitness coach. I'm very excited to have a fitness routine in my hot little hands and I can't wait to share with you guys next week how the first week went incorporating exercise back into my life. I have a step goal every day of about 6,000 steps and I would like to take an intentional walk the other days of the week that I'm not actually going to the gym. We'll just see how it all plays out. As I always say, take everything in baby steps. Don't overwhelm yourself and say, hey, I'm working out seven days a week because that's when we quit the first week because it's too much for us. So I'm going to take my own advice and just take baby steps into starting this fitness routine. She also gave me a protein goal every day that actually ties in really good with the protein goal that I gave myself based on my personalized macros and calories. Her fat goal for me and carbohydrate goal for me are extremely close to what I've been doing. So that makes me really happy that the system I use to calculate macros 
photos for you guys and myself is extremely accurate and both her and I are in agreement on what my nutrition should look like. I also am continuing to drink lots and lots of water and just making healthy food choices overall. So that was one exciting thing that happened this week and the other thing that I actually shared on both my Facebook group and my Instagram. If you're not in my Facebook group and you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put them right here for you. That's really the best way to keep up with me day to day. If you want to know what I'm doing every single day and really see my life as it happens, those are the best places to do that. I did share that last week. I decided to return to in-person WW workshops. Now this resulted from one of my coaching clients. I told her that I would go to workshops with her for extra accountability and to not only support her, but give myself support and accountability as well. And last week I drove 35 minutes one way to Tucson, attended a early morning WW workshop and it was fan Fantastic. I really liked the coach. Everybody at the workshop was extremely nice. It had been almost two years since I weighed in at a WW workshop, since I stepped foot into a workshop. So when I weighed in, I had actually lost over 80 pounds since I last weighed in and I got all of my charms up to 75 pounds lost. So this little bling right here was the highlight of my day. I have it hanging on my lamp by my desk, so it is constant motivation to keep going. Now, as you know, I've lost well over 100 pounds, but these are from my last weigh-in at WW. During the course of my weight loss, I've actually been tracking in the Lose It app, so WW had no record of all of this weight loss that has happened over 2020, 2021, and into 2022. So it was a really good week, a really exciting week. A lot of new exciting things happen that are going to help me get closer to my weight loss goal and really help me get started on my fitness journey, which I am so excited about. Before I share my weigh-in for today, I want to talk with you guys about the WW workshop topic because it actually fits really nicely with what I just shared with you. And this is how to build habits that stick, whether they are food-related habits, tracking, water, exercise. We know how to create a habit, but how do we make it stick? Next time you want to add something to your routine that's new and exciting, think about something that you already do. Maybe for you, tracking is not an issue. You track every meal every single day, but you just don't get in your water. So you would like to add water to your healthy routine. When we think about something we already successfully do, and then we want to add something new to it, this is called piggybacking, where one desired habit or action is linked to to a habit or action you're already doing regularly. If you keep doing the first thing, you'll likely keep doing the second. So let's talk about how to set up piggybacking. Action number one is to think about something you already regularly successfully do. So for the example I shared, let's say that's tracking. Now you want to add in water. So every time you track, you're going to add in water. You're going to fill up your water cup. You're going to log water. You're going to make sure that you're drinking your water along with tracking. Tracking plus water is what's considered piggybacking. So by adding something that you regularly already unconsciously do with something new that you want to implement, that is how piggybacking is created. Now I want to share with you another fact versus myth when it comes to building healthy habits. Fact, habits form based on frequency and consistency. And myth, it takes 21 days to form a habit. Now this is something that I believed as well. I've heard 21 days, I've heard 30 days, but unfortunately this is a myth. How to build a habit and stick with it has nothing to do with the number of days that you do the habit. It has to do with repetition and repeating that habit. That's why pairing something that you're already doing with something that you want to do is how you build a habit. By repeating what you do well and repeating what you want to do, that's how a new habit is formed. And like I mentioned, we've all heard the 21 or 30 days that it takes to build a new habit, but there is no truth to this and there is no timeline on when a new habit is formed. It depends on you, your personality, the habit, how consistent you are with building that new habit. There is no set number of days for that to be formed. We all find success at our own pace and that 
that is completely okay. It's about finding those two behaviors, putting those together, and building two new consistent habits that you can actually stick with. So I really like this topic, and it goes hand in hand with what I was saying about building the habit of getting into an exercise and strength training routine, building the habit of going back to WW workshops, building the habit of tracking, getting in your water, weighing regularly. Think about one habit that you do really, really well and one habit that you want to start doing. Piggyback those together to help build a habit you can stick with. So now let's talk about my weigh-in for the week. I actually weighed in twice last week, once for you guys, once at the WW workshop. I will be doing the same thing again this week. When I stepped on the scale today, I am down 1.6 pounds. So just shy of another two pound loss this month, I have been killing it with the weight loss. I am going to go ahead and put here on the screen how much I lost for the month of May as well as how much I have lost overall. Now when I weigh in at the WW workshop again this week, I'll probably be down a little bit more. That's what happened last week, but I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with 1.6 down and that actually puts me over 110 pounds lost. I actually go to the doctor this next week for a follow-up appointment. I did establish care with a new doctor here in Arizona a couple of months ago, and she wants to see me one more time before she has to order my next set of blood tests. So I'm going to talk with her a little bit more about goal weight, and I'm really curious to see how much I've lost between when I saw her last and I can see her now, and we can really talk about what I'm doing moving forward. I did share in last week's weigh-in a little bit more about my goal weight, so I'll link that weigh-in video in case you missed it. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? What habits are you good at? What habits do you wanna build? Let me know everything down in the comments. Also, let me know what are some of your favorite strength building activities because I can't wait cannot wait to embark on this new fitness journey. If you enjoyed today's weigh-in, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not and turn your bell on so you never miss a Friday weigh-in or a video in general. Don't forget to check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. Come on over, join us on Facebook, and I have links and discounts to my favorite things. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's massive, massive, massive stock up grocery haul. Bye.